So someone in, on our Discord server at one point asked where the subtle up and down camera bobbing effect comes from. Horizontal, y'all look turning, but I'm having trouble finding it. Even when taken local tick functions are disabled, I still get the subtle bobbing effect when I apply horizontal inputs on the mouse, even though the camera itself isn't moving. So this is a very interesting question about our realistic assault rifle template, which I wanted to answer. So let me hop over to the engine. Okay, so I'm now in the realistic assault rifle template. This is a clean version of the project. Well, almost clean. This isn't in the clean edition. And uh, what this person is referring to, I'm guessing, is this effect when you turn. It's either that or this subtle movement on the camera when you're moving. Now, very importantly, both of these camera effects Actually, this one doesn't really have, well, it does have a little bit of camera effect. Both of these are actually animations. So they're playing an animation on the camera. In fact, if you head over to our art core, you go over to, actually go over to Realistic Assortful Template, Art, and then in here in Animations, specifically inside of the Movement folder, if you look for things like the Walk F Loop, and then inside them, check the camera bone or the head bone. You can see that it is actually being animated. So these are animated. That's what's happening. Now, if you wanted to turn this off, you actually can. Um, however, it is going to be <laughs> a bit more difficult and it might break a few things. The simplest possible way you have of fixing this or changing this is for you to go over to our core animation blueprint which is actually in gameplay core core characters and then this animation blueprint so inside of the animation graph we just need to ignore most of this right and simply search for the walking blend space which you're going to find right here it says blend space walking and now if inside here you add a camera ignore, so basically the way you would do that is layered blend per bone. And then you simply add this and set the layer setup to be root. And then the add another one and say head minus one. This just takes out the head from this so it's going to take in the walk blend space and it's just going to say hey just take out the head part and um we can set mesh space rotation blend i think oh uh, let's leave it off for now. now we compile and if i go into the engine and walk around you see that there's no movement animation on the camera so that's how you remove that. And if you wanted to remove this one, because this one is played separately, this one is called the turning animation. So you would have to basically just search for turning here. Um, and I believe that one is played, let's see, we look for turn. Inside of state machine, default idle states, default state machine standing and default state, there is this thing, which is the turning. You can see that it says apply additive and it's applying this thing, which is called C pose sequence turning. And I think you could probably just find that one here. Yep. It's in the main animation graph, so you don't have to search for it. So in the main animation graph, you go to this one, which is the C, C pose sequence turning, and you can do exactly the same thing. So you just add that. And now if you turn your camera, there's going to be no camera animation playing. And that's it. That's pretty much all I had for today. Uh, if you like the Realistic Assault Rifle template and you don't really know what the heck this is, you can check it out in the description. I'm also going to leave a blog post in the description talking a little bit more in depth about this. But basically, I mean, if you've watched this, it's the same thing. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.